Hey guys, so today's tutorial is, well before I start that I'm just going to start off by saying I'm using a new mic, uh, let me know in the comments if it sounds better than my previous videos. The mic I'm using is just from, uh, we have Rock Band here, so I'm just using that mic and because we don't actually have a working mic stand, I've kind of made a mic stand out of cardboard and so I'm just going to see how this works. So yeah, just post in the comments, tell me if the audio is better. I've done a few uh, like test cases and to me it seems better but so yeah like I was saying today's tutorial is on changing a player speed now the default player speed is uh, 0 0.2 and bucket wants a float when you do all that so I'm just gonna create this so we have the default 0 0.2 F Okay, so yeah, that's the default movement speed for a player. And, yeah. So I could just go player dot set movement speed, but instead of that, I'm going to create some functions. The first one is going to be to set the player's speed, and we will need to pass it the player and the speed we want. The second function is going to be to reset the player speed. So reset speed and we will pass it a player. Now for set speed, it's as simple as you take the player, set walk speed, and player dot set fly speed. Now resetting the player speed is just as simple, but instead of speed, we are putting the default speed. Now normally you don't want like a public variable for something like this. So what you can do is just remove that and put it inside here, although you will have to remove private. So there we go. Now I'm just going to create a player, and it's going to have to equal null because I don't want to create one. Now if I was to go set speed, pass it the player, and 0.4f, because that means it's now double the player's default speed. And it's just that simple. Now when you're setting a speed, if you've noticed, you need 0.4f point or zero decimal and then a number. The range that you can have in there is anywhere between negative one decimal zero to zero or one. And by this I mean, uh, actually just let me comment so the line goes away. So you can have anywhere between negative one and one. Anything between zero and negative one I believe will make the player go backwards of whatever direction you tell them but I honestly don't know. And then anything between 0 and 1 is pretty much the player's speed for moving forward. So if you set it to 0, the player won't be able to move. If you set it to 0 0.1, the player will move as though they're sprinting all the time. And yeah, so like I said, I don't know what uh, anything lower than 0 does. So post in the comments and tell me, because I'm kind of curious. Okay, uh, that was a tutorial on changing a player's speed. See you next time.